But if you were, if, if you weren't here, just get a piece of paper out and write example one. George Vanderhill purchases a Ford Fund, one thousand dollar bond at the quoted price of eighty nine point five. I have the floor now. You have to open the way if you want to understand. The bond pays interest at a rate of six percent. Find the A, the interest, B, the cost of the bond, C, the annual yield. This is very easy. It sounds more sophisticated and elaborate than it actually is. Write it down and look over what you think means. So easy. So, so easy. So this would be an example of a corporate bond. Ford wants to raise some money, so it's issuing bonds. And it, it allows investors like you and I to play the bank. We're going to lend them the money. They're going to pay us back with interest. All right? Um, so... This is the face value right here. This is how much they're going to pay you back if you buy the bond. The price is this. It's expressed as a decimal, but it really means a percent of the face value. So even though Ford's going to pay me a thousand back after the maturity, I'm not paying them. I'm not going to give them a full thousand dollars. I'm going to give them 89.5 percent of that thousand. And not only that, every year I have the bond, they're going to pay me interest. They'll pay me a payment of interest every year, as well as pay me the thousand dollars at the end of the bond term, the maturity date. It's like double income. It's the thousand bucks plus interest every year. That's what a bond is. That's how it behaves. So we're going to first calculate the interest, the cost, and then the annual yield. The annual yield is just like a percentage of money you make every year, expressed as a percent. Yield means to like produce. How much does this bond produce in profit for you every year? That's what the annual yield means. Very easy, it's a percentage problem. You guys already know how to do percent, so it's not a big deal. I'm gonna color code this. I'm gonna do A in blue, B in red, and C in green. Let's do the interest first. Ford's gonna give you 6% every year for holding the bond. 6% of what? Well, 6% of the, the, the face value. It's a thousand dollar bond, so every year you're gonna get 6% of a thousand bucks. Well, how do you calculate that? We'll just make 6% of the pure decimal. 0.06. Remember, that's week one stuff. Times a grand. What's 6% of a grand? I want to say it's 60 bucks, right? I don't trust myself. My coffee may have not kicked in. 0 0.06 times a grand. Yep, 60 bucks. There's my interest. Ford will give me 60 bucks every year just for having the bond. That's kind of strange how bonds work. You lend the money, they give you money every year in interest for having the bond, and at the end of the bond's term, they're gonna give you the face value. I'm gonna get the thousand bucks back. Plus the interest I've been earning every year. 
So it can be very helpful. Bonds can be pretty cool. I'm going to do the cost of the bond now in part B in red. So how much does it cost? Well, the face value is a grand, but that's not how much it costs. That's the face value. That's what they pay you after the end of the bond's term. The cost is right here, 89.5% <clears throat> of the face value. So it's always expressed as a, as a decimal. It's kind of strange. That's just the way bond, bond talk works. It's expressed as a, as a, as a decimal. So 89.5 really means 89.5% of the face value. <clears throat> so we have another percent problem. The cool thing about this lesson is just a bunch of percentages. You guys already know how to do percentages. It's not a hard lesson. So 89.5% of 1,000. Well, let's make this pure decimal. Huh? 0.895 times a grand. Rocking and rolling. <clears throat> Five times a grand, 895 bucks. So to purchase the bond from Ford Company, <clears throat> this is how much I invested. That's the money I put down to invest, 895 in a $1,000 bond. So every year, they're going to pay me 60 bucks for having the bond, my interest. And when the bond term ends, they're going to give me $1,000. They're going to give me this at the end. So the bond is right, and you got a good amount of money. You can make some serious cash doing bonds. Let's do the annual yield now. Here we go. I'm going to do the annual yield in green. We're taking notes right now, right, Starks? You with me? Rojo? Annual yield is, watch this. Annual yield, I'll put AY, annual yield <coughs> is going to be the annual interest. We already, we already calculated that for, for A, divided by the cost. Well, that's what we calculated for B. But we're going to express it as a percent. So we're going to make it equals X out of 100. It's always expressed as a percent. We're done. The equaling x over 100, remember that's just percent problems from week one. If you want to turn something to percent, put it equals x over 100. Watch this. Annual interest was part A. That was 60 bucks. <clears throat> right? Yep. We're going to get 60 bucks every year for holding this, this bond. The cost was part B. I was in red. That's 8.95. So 60 divided by 8.95. That's how much I invested. What's the percent of profit I'm gonna be getting every year? That's what annual yield means. How much is it gonna produce for me? Yield means to produce. 60 bucks out of what I invested is what out of 100. 60 bucks out of what I invested is what out of 100. Cross multiply and rock and roll. Eight ninety five x. This is all week one stuff. Wow. Six thousand. <clears throat> right couples. Yeah. Let's divide by eight ninety five to get x by itself. Man, that's crazy. The second to last week in this class, we're using what we learned the very first week. All that percentage stuff. Bye. Six thousand divided by eight ninety-five. Here we go. Oops. Six thousand divided by eight ninety-five. I'm gonna round to the nearest tenth. Maybe not. Six point seven percent yield. So that's the annual yield. 
In other words, this bond is producing 6.7% profit for me every year I hold it. That's what yield means, annual yield. It's yielding means to produce. It's producing 6.7% of my income and profit holding this bond every year. And the cool thing is, at the end of the bond's term, not only am I, not only am I getting that, that, that money every year, Starks, but I get the $1,000 at the end. They cut me a check for a grand after all the years I've been holding that. So every year, if it's a 10-year bond, I'm gonna get 60 bucks every year for 10 years. At the end of the 10 years, they're gonna give me $1,000. Couple more examples are done. So on this one, go ahead and just two and three are a part of a table. Just make a quick table on your notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns, three rows. I'll give you about a minute to copy that down. And this is it, we're done after this table. You wanna copy that down? All right, here we go. <coughs> Let's do A first, cost of the bond, $3,000. That's the face value, but the quoted price is 103.5%. <coughs> the moral of the story right now is that the price is always expressed as a decimal. But people in the bond world know that that decimal means a percent of face value. So I need to find 103.5% of 3,000. That's, that's gonna be the cost of this bond. So watch this, 103.5% of three grand. Well, how do you find 103.5% of anything? Turn that puppy into decimal. Look, I move the decimal to the left twice, remember? That's one week one, times three grand. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go, watch this. One, look at this, 1.035 times three grand, 3105. <clears throat> $3,105, that's the cost. So we'll put that in the part A. I'm gonna do in red. The interest. So the interest rate is right here, so it's 4.5% of the face value of that, the three grand. So remember, pay attention because number three you're gonna do on your own and show me. So the annual interest, what am I gonna get for holding this diamond company bond every year in interest? What are they gonna pay me every year? Well, it's 4.5% of the face value. 4.5% of this. So let's do it. 4.5% <coughs> of three grand. Well, that's 0.045 times three grand. So let's see what that is. Get my calculator out, rocking and rolling. 0.045 times three grand. 135 bucks. That's the annual interest. So every year I'm gonna get $135 from Diamond Company for holding that bond. It's not bad. So what is that producing me in profit every year? Annual yield. 
Let's see. If I'm getting this every year and I put in this much, look at I this is how much I pay for my investment. This is what I paid. What percent is that every year? 135 out of 3105. Watch. Annual yield now. 135 out of 3105 equals x out of 100. So the interest I get for holding the bond divided by how many how much money I put into the investment to purchase the bond equals x over 100. It's going to be a percentage. Let's see. Cross multiply. 3105x equals <coughs> 13,500. <coughs> Again, yield means produce. What is this producing for me in profit? 3105. X equals, here we go. 13,500 divided by 3105. Let's see what this, this is here. Here we go. 13,500 divided by 3,105. I'm going to run the nearest 10. So the annual yield is about 4.3% of profit. 4.3% profit. Part, you're going to do number three on your own now. <coughs> I did A in blue, B in red, and C in green. It's all here. It's on your notes. Go ahead and bring me your answer to, to Gable Incorporated Bond. Bring it to me in the back, and once I see it, go off and do your four trades for the day for your R stamp. So, again, find the cost of the bond for the Gable. Look, it's a $1,000 face value. Find the cost. Find the annual interest, and then find the annual yield. A, B, and C. Bring me A, B, and C. Take your time. Bring it to me in the back. I, I give you a thumbs up. Go do your trades for the day, and then do your B and T. Get it. Have a great day.